Hey guys, Tom at Snake River Base. I want to talk a little bit about something that we're seeing a lot of people doing, or at least an increasing number of people are doing, that I don't think is actually a great idea. We're seeing, especially this fall and this winter, people jumping solid slider down cliffs, especially in the American Southwest, on factory shallow breaks. In general, people are doing this for either one of two reasons. The first reason that I hear is that they think the canopy will open faster. It is true that the canopy, after it begins moving, will start generating lift a little bit faster in a shallower break setting because the canopy will move forward faster. Honestly, I don't think that that makes very much difference. And the truth is that if you're really doing a jump that low to the ground, you're probably doing a static line jump anyway. Most of the people doing this are doing it on jumps that are three and 400 feet high, which is way too high for you to need that kind of accelerated opening from shallow breaks. The other reason, which worries me more, is that people are saying they think the canopy will respond faster to the control inputs and give them more chance of avoiding an object strike. Honestly, I just think this is wrong. The problem is that people have a misconception about what we mean by faster. In general, if we look in the dictionary, faster means with that the turn will occur with more degrees of heading correction per second of elapsed time. And it is true that in a shallower break setting, the turn will be faster in this sense. It will turn in fewer seconds of time. But honestly for us, I don't think that matters. What matters to us is two things, neither one of which is time. We want the turn to make the most degrees of heading correction per foot of forward travel towards the cliff. That's really important. I don't care if it takes three minutes or three seconds to make this turn, as long as I'm not moving towards the cliff during those three minutes. So having it happen faster in time doesn't matter. It's whether it happens in fewer feet of horizontal travel towards the cliff. The other way in which we really want the turn to be faster, again, is not time. It's vertical altitude loss. We want the turn to happen with fewer feet of altitude loss if we are close to the ground. Given a choice between these, I'm always going to take separation from the cliff over altitude. In fact, if I sink myself into the ground while making an avoidance correction and break my leg, I think that's better than hitting the cliff and falling to the ground and having more serious injuries. So the real question is not how many seconds of time it will take, it's how many feet of horizontal distance you use towards the cliff and how many feet of vertical altitude you will consume during the turn. In terms of horizontal distance, the advantage is clearly to the deeper break setting. Deeper brake setting means the canopy has less forward speed at opening, means the canopy is moving slower forward, and it means that when you execute the turn, you will use fewer feet of forward distance towards the cliff to complete your heading correction. How many feet you use is going to depend on your particular deep brake setting, whether it was a custom setting or factory setting, but in any event, the deep brake setting is better than a shallower setting for this purpose. The other question is, how many feet of vertical altitude are being consumed by the turn? In general, if your turn is so abrupt, your brake settings are so abrupt that the turn is sinking out dramatically, your brakes are too deep. It is very unlikely that any factory brake setting from any manufacturer will do this, but it's possible, which means you should test this turn in a safe environment like the bridge before using it somewhere like Moab, where you can potentially break both your legs by sinking into the ground. That turn, the, that question, the question of how much vertical altitude you use, can sometimes argue towards using a shallower brake setting because the canopy will generate more lift during the turn and lose less altitude. Honestly, if you're at that point, I think your brake setting is probably too deep to begin with, and I've seen very few factory brake settings do that. I'm not going to talk about customized deep brake settings here, which I think are really the best answer to this question. I just wanted to talk about the difference between factory shallow and factory deep because the big mistake I've seen a lot of people make in the last couple of months is going to factory shallow for solid slider down objects like cliffs in Moab and Arizona. You can do it, sure, and uh, it's your life, so you're up to, you're free to choose whatever you want, but personally, I really don't recommend that practice.